Good evening, or good day, it all depends, and welcome back to the Impossible Iron Man channel. Today I have for you a clip that showcases just how lax solo play has become thanks to the Devil's Moon event, and the Grounded Pact in particular. Queuing up solo was always really stressful, thanks to latency kills, trades, or insert any number of in-game bugs that can get you killed, like the reload bug, for example. But with the Grounded Pact, knowing that, worst case scenario, I'll return to the lobby with a hunter with all my traits still intact, or possibly even be able to self-revive, more than once potentially, I no longer worry too much about all these issues. They're still a little annoying, but definitely not anywhere near as bad as they were before. And while I'm going into this game with a budget loadout and a freebie hunter, despite the fact that my lobbies are five to six star sweaty nonsense, and no pledge marks initially in this fight, I go in with, as one of my all-time favorite hunt creators, Wombuz, says, with confidence. And it gets great results. Enjoy the clip. Thank <laughs> you. 
at the end here, I was saved by the fact that I'm fairly certain I got shot in the arm. With Nitro Shredder, had I been shot in the upper torso at that range, I think I'd be very dead. Granted, I did have self-revive, but who knows how the ending would have turned out there. Regardless, I went in without any fear, despite the fact that I knew what I was walking into. Granted, the Scott Field seemed to do a pretty handy job of everything. And I just had fun with it, honestly. And I, I wasn't worried about going down there at the end. So, I suppose what I'm trying to say is, with new Grounded Pact, have fun in your solo matches. As it's basically just like playing quick play, except you even get to keep the traits if you die, for the most part. Beyond that, I have a lot of content coming out soon. I'll be releasing um, a bit about my opinions on the packs and kind of how I rate them and uses for all of them, all that good stuff, as well as other good content on the way. So until next time, good hunting in the bayou, everybody, and I will see you all on the next one.